hey guys it's eddie v welcome to the channel if you're new to the channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button but in today's video we're going to be installing a ebay train horn <laughs> Okay guys, so here's why I'm buying an aftermarket horn. Because the power's on, I push on this, and there's no horn, and I've been cut off with so many times and almost so many accidents happen because the people just don't know where I'm at. So I decided to buy a horn. Also, guys, we did check um I did check for if there's power running too. There's power running all the way through, there's no broken fuses, just my horn originally is bad. So we I'm gonna be changing. Or are we going to be changing and getting a custom horn on this Mazda 3? And yes, guys, the horn comes with this air horn thing with the airline. It also comes with instructions. Well, some spare instructions about wiring diagram. This is the compressor that we that you uh, that we would have to mount us along, uh, with the air horn. Here is some relays. We also have the mounting brackets and the wiring. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing, guys, is the car, it has the brakes on, and also it ha it's, uh, it's on, a jet, it's on uh, these stands, or not stands, but these ramps, so that we can get underneath right over here and change out the horn. The horn is located somewhere in the vicinity up here, but since I have no underbody, it is very, should be easier to change. So yeah, time to go for it. Time to set up, see if it's gonna work. No, that's still trying to figure out the wire in here. So, guys, we found out that the relay doesn't work, and we're gonna have to use our own wires, kind of. But we already got our own wires supplied from the Mazda right here, and this comes in and out like this. So it's the same exact fitment what's on the on the compressor. So now I just need to unscrew this whole bracket and we might be able to install the horn right here because this used to be an airbox bracket. So basically, once we get this on installed, we could put it on the bracket and the air horn would be just standing right over here and it'd be perfect. Okay guys, so to take off the horn on the Mazda 3 is 10 millimeter socket and you just unscrew it here it self unscrews you just gotta fully unscrew it because it has a self it has a built-in uh, nut in there okay guys not sure if you noticed but this video may be upside down but anyway there's a clip and you gotta push the clip with probably preferably a screwdriver flathead or this and then you could slide it off because the wire clips onto the bracket okay guys so that right there what you saw was we had a drill on the bracket a wider hole for that bolt to fit on and then we're gonna screw it on Alrighty guys, so got it all connected. It's all nice in, tucked in, the airline tucked in there. Compressor all co uh, connected with the original black wire to um, to the, uh, which is the negative, connected right into the ground there, which is the ground wire. But also we got is another wire running from here, connecting to, uh, connecting to the original, as you can see, that original wire fits the compressor. So, that being said, we mounted the compressor on the, bra uh, on the bracket that mounts the original horn. We also twisted this end of the bracket so we could attach this bracket, uh, horn bracket onto that bracket. And up there we took off this bracket and simply ran the original nut and welded in bolt onto this so now it's fixed location and now it's time to show you guys the result of our work okay. all right guys so this is how it sounds like fully operational <laughs>
tiny train horn. Okay, guys, so that was the installment. I give this about a 6 out of 10. Basically, 6 for the sound quality. I mean, no. Basically, 6 for the sound quality altogether. It's a 10 out of 10 for sound quality, but 6 basically because it came with wires that didn't work, relays that didn't work, fuse that probably didn't work, and we had to run our own. Luckily, uh, we were a little smart about how we we're going to run the wires, and that's how we did it. So, would I buy this product? Yes, I would again on another car. So the link in the description below if you want to buy the same train horn. You got to have to use your modifications. I don't know if it's a train horn, but it is a Chinese eBay train horn. So yes, guys, this is a product I'm going to use now. I have a legit horn on my Mazda. Not canceled. Guys, I'm Eddie B. 2000. Driving a temp in the sex series.